My name is Jim Burke and I am the founder of the Power Racing Series. So the Power Racing Series came from basically just playing around at my hackerspace back in 2009. We found a discarded power wheel and we thought it would be really funny if we modified them to race. The Power Racing Series is built on having creative fun and then the learning comes from that. Instead of just trying to be the fastest and be the best, we have our Moxie Challenge, which makes it so that the crowd gets a vote on, on the best looking vehicle. It changes the paradigm of how you race. It makes it more about enjoying yourself and building the best that you can and not building just the best car. The more people play or have that sort of playful interactivity with a technology or an idea that they want to pursue just for the fun of it, the more opportunities they have to learn. The Power Racing Series is built basically to adapt to that knowledge. We know that play creates better ways to think, and that thinking comes with more creative solutions to problems, and that leads to learning things quicker and adapting to them better. Hi there, uh, my name is Pete. I'm with the uh, Milwaukee Makerspace Power Racing Series team. We've been doing it since I think 2010 or something. I've been doing it every year since. So the first year, uh, a lot of people were running almost stock power wheels. I mean, they were pretty slow. You could pretty much walk faster than them. Um, and over the years, people have investigated different sort of uh, controllers, uh, gone to like scooter motors. Some people use alternators. We have one car with a floor polishing motor. Uh, we have a bicycle e-hub, a e-bike hub motor, which is really weird. Um, yeah, you're seeing all sorts of weird innovation over time. And now we're seeing things like uh, salvage batteries from leaf um, electric cars come in as well. So the goal of the Power Racing Series has kind of changed over the years. Initially it was just, you know, to have fun at Maker Faire and meet other maker spaces and build really cool things. But after doing that for enough seasons, we started noticing that people were coming up with some really cool open source technologies and we also had a lot more schools sign up. I'm Palmer Tetley. I, uh, we're from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is our second year in it, and this is our second race. All of our members are uh, from FIRST Robotics teams. For a car that we built last year, um, since we have, we're all FIRST uh, members, uh, we use parts that we're used to from FIRST, and as we discovered, they're not really designed for this kind of race. So uh, our new car, the burger car, uh, we uh, found more industrial parts uh, to make it uh, have better performance. I believe most all the team members are interested in some uh, sort of engineering degree. I know personally I'm interested in uh, either electrical engineering or mechanical engineering. We plan on uh, doing this until um, at least we graduate high school and potentially in college if uh, our team can stay together. So the Power Racing Series realized that autonomous vehicle technologies are getting cheaper and cheaper by the year. LiDAR technologies are getting more affordable. And granted, they do not have the same potency, nowhere near even, that a twenty dollars or $40,000 system has. But $500 LiDAR systems, and even cheaper, are getting better and better at their detection, at the amount of data it, it takes in, and the speed that it can be taken in. Which means we have the ability to make smaller scale, power wheel size autonomous vehicles vehicles on the cheap. And that's one of the big goals that we really want to do because autonomous technology is pretty much the future of anything automotive and transportation globally. And it's going to be really important to have a workforce who understands the base level of that technology. We want to create the world where we understand the technology that we're embedded in. You don't have to be an engineer in it, but you need to have an appreciation for it. And our Autonomous League is giving people the opportunity to get an idea of the technology, to see it firsthand, a cheaper version of it so it's more accessible. We're focusing on reaching out students in schools that would not have these competitions to begin with. We do not want to focus just on higher end schools that already would have these contests. We want to support more institutions to be involved. We don't want teams that cost $20,000 per school. We want $1,000 teams and 20 schools. If you want to find out more about the Power Racing Series, check out PowerRacingSeries.org. You can sign up a team, you can see what races we're going to have for the rest of the calendar, and you know, if you have any questions on how to make your build, email me or any of the other people on the teams and we can get you started.